Recently, we had my dad, Max, on the channel. He was in this video. And we challenged him to a little cooking competition we called Maxterchef. In it, Ava gave him a series of Italian cooking challenges. But a lot of you guys wrote and said that we should flip the tables and Ava should partake in Maxterchef. So that's exactly what we're doing today. My dad came up with three American cooking challenges for Ava to see if she's finally learned anything about American food. Welcome back to Maxter Chef Ava. How does it feel to be on the contestant side of things? Not good at all. <laughs> because I'm not in control of what there is here. I'm ah. I'm pretty scared also. You should be, because Max has chosen three pretty difficult challenges for you today. The first one is that you have to make a classic American dish that I happen to know you've never had before. Well, you've had the pre-made boxed version, but that doesn't really count, because today you need to make homemade mac and cheese. The only time that I had macaroni and cheese in my life was out of a box and Harper gave me this box of craft. Did I like them? No, they were very, very bad. Yes, the only requirement, you can make this mac and cheese however you want, using your imagination to try and imagine how this dish is supposed to be. The only requirement is that you have to use elbow macaroni and cheddar cheese. It's like, uh, this is a pasta that you put in a soup. Millions of Americans make it work. Can you? I start with uh, a simple bechamel. I don't know anything about homemade macaroni and cheese because I never made. But uh, from my understanding or my, let's say, idea is that uh, the end is a baked uh, pasta dish with cheese with no tomatoes. So I should be good at this. <laughs> Making cheese requires cheese. Now, I'm going to use cheddar because, okay, but I'm going to use also parmigiano and pecorino because they can do the pasta just better. And it's more salt. I tried cheddar before, but I never cooked with cheddar. Let's have a look at this amazing pasta. Oh, baby, this is pastina. It's not pasta, it is pastina. This is a pretty small pasta. It's what they usually in Italy we use like in a broth. Now, I will be able to bake this pasta. We will see. Now, here there is written cooking time of five minutes. What I'm going to do is cook this pasta for two minutes. Ciao, Eva. Ma Max, their chef. How's it going today? It seems until now pretty normal. Now what are you going to do with, you've got your bechamel sauce here. See, I'm... I see, you're thickening that. Yes, and while the pasta is cooking. What are you going to do with it then? Then what I'm going to do is, actually I'm going to do now, I had the pecorino to the bechamel. I'm not sure that that would not really be a very American type of cheese to add to macaroni. I know, Max, but this can make macaroni just better. All right, good luck. Grazie, Max.
So obviously Ava has somewhat of an advantage in this challenge because she's cooked a lot of baked pasta dishes, but she's never even had a real homemade mac and cheese. What do you think are some of the things that might trip up an overconfident Italian? If she doesn't get the crust very crispy, crunchy, because if you don't do that, then you've just got like a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese, which is not really the mm -hmm. real thing. I should say that I like. The taste, it should be good. At the end, is pasta bechamel and cheese. Max, this is my first uh, mac and cheese. Okay, it looks okay. I think it's maybe not um, browned enough on top. It's normally what I would do. The taste is very good. It tastes like mac and cheese. It's very creamy. I think it's uh, it's uh, actually quite good the way it is. The one question I might have is um, I'm missing the lobster. But then... <laughs> you see, I like, having lived in Maine, we like lobster mac and cheese. With my mac There's and no cheese? There's no lobster in this. Never. <laughs> okay, I'll try Never. it again. I'll pretend there's lobster. Mmm. Excellent. I would say you pass. Now I have uh, the idea that maybe I can uh, switch sometimes from lasagna to mac and cheese, because why not? <laughs> the second challenge that Max has chosen for you, Ava, is a skills test. You need to demonstrate that you have this basic American cooking skill. Now the plus side for you is that you don't have to worry about picking the ingredients at all, because everything's chosen for you. You just got to know how to put them all together. Your challenge is to make <laughs> Your challenge is to make a classic American cheeseburger. I don't think that this is too difficult. Come on, I know how to make a lasagna. I know how to make fresh pasta. I don't know how to make a burger. I had the so many hamburgers cooked by you that I know how to make a burger. Okay, I hope. we'll see. Before Ava gets cooking, good luck by the way. Thank you. We'd like to give a very special thank you to a very special sponsor. Copilot is a personalized fitness solution, and I say it's very special because we use their service basically every single day of our lives. The new year is young, and I'm sure a lot of you have made uh, New Year's resolutions uh, about your personal fitness, but we both know how easy it is to make a resolution like that and then, you know, fall off the bandwagon pretty early on. The way Copilot works is that they pair you with a personal trainer who is picked specifically for you and your goals. Everyone has different goals. So for instance, uh, when we started working with Copilot uh, this past spring, I decided that I'm gonna spend the next six months getting in the best dang shape of my life. Whereas Ava... Try to lose some weight. While being able to eat more pasta. Yes, sure. I was paired with my amazing coach, Rod. My amazing coach, uh, her name is Heidi. They come up with a customized workout plan that is just for you. They're monitoring it every week. They're changing it for you as you go and as you progress. They're always there to chat and to answer questions. Uh, they even, um, you were, you're dealing with a, a back injury. Yes, I had a problem with my back and Adi was so sweet. She just adjusts all my workout in order to keep working out, but I actually have a better back, uh, back safe. You would really be amazed what a difference it makes having someone who's there with you along for the journey and keeping you accountable. It makes you more motivated. It helps you stick to your goals. It's also great because it's extremely flexible and adaptable to your life situation. So your schedule, where and how you're able to work out, it works even if you if you don't have a gym membership or any equipment. We really can't recommend Copilot enough. We think it is a fantastic service. And if you're interested in trying it out, uh, there's a link down in the description below. If you click it, you will get a 14 day free trial and then you'll get 20% off your very first month of personalized coaching.
You gotta sign up before February to take advantage of this offer, so go check it out in the description below. A big thank you to Copilot for sponsoring today's video. Harper cooked the burger for me, and I watched him. From what I remember, he smashed the burger, which means that And it is. No. This seems too much to me. But I don't know. It's a huge burger. <laughs> I'm doing. It's a toasted bun. It's a very toasted bun. Here is the tricky moment because uh, do I put some fat? I don't put some fat. I don't know. We should put this. Uh, Ava's looking a little stressed right now. Yeah, you know, a burger, especially a smash burger, it looks simple, but it's, um, it can be a little difficult. Mainly you have to have, you know, what the French would call the, you know, the mise en place, all your ingredients have to be ready to go because it happens very fast. She hasn't even opened her cheese yet. Yeah, she doesn't open the cheese yet. You got to get that on soon. So I think maybe she's, falling a little bit behind. Like the burger, maybe they are not so easy as they seem. <laughs> My confidence right now is pretty zero. <laughs> I'm burning the burger. <laughs> it's impossible to believe, but I'm burning just a bowl of meat. There is nothing there. It's just meat. And I'm burning it. How is possible? Eva, what, are you cooking for a crocodile or a I person? I think so. It's, it's huge. It's kind of big. It's too big, I know. I didn't think until now that a burger can be difficult. <laughs> so you're trying to push all the juice out of it. No, so I'm trying nice to and cook dry. it. What about the cheese? You're gonna when are you gonna uh, I when are you gonna I put the cheese? Oh, I was forgetting. <laughs> I was forgetting. Okay, good luck. Uh, thank you, Max. <laughs> It will melt faster. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, it doesn't look bad though. It will taste good. This actually, I don't really know. <laughs> My burger doesn't look bad. But if someone, if I was watching someone making a burger like that, I was not able to eat it. <laughs> so, because <laughs> to Max that is going to eat it. <laughs> now, Max. Yes, here <laughs> we have the Ava Burger. Good luck, this Max. This is a new chain, the Ava Burger chain. There's a Wada Burger, now there's an Ava Burger. Okay, I'm going to try it. Simple food uh, is what is most difficult because you can't really cover, you can't use a lot of trick. This is what it is, or you know how to do, or you don't know how to do. And guess what? Uh, maybe I discovered that I don't know how to make a burger. I think it's actually quite good. Okay, it's better than McDonald's, no, it's okay. It's, it's, it's pretty good. So I think it's maybe a little bit dry. It's not really overcooked. That's a personal preference. Some people. You like know, more cooked and less cooked. Like sangue ben cotto. But maybe pressing on it a lot, is, that releases a lot of the juice. You need to press it initially one, one time to and make a flat basta. It's a, it's a passable burger. 
<laughs> oh, it's my first burger. That's not actually true. You did try to make a burger once before. See, I made a meatball. But you made a meatball. I made a meatball. <laughs> <This is laughs> so you've gone real... from meatball to a passable burger. This is That's the pretty real good. first burger. It's the first time I made a meatball. I'm pretty happy. More than for this than for the mac and cheese. Your third and final challenge, Ava, is an invention test where you have to invent your own culinary creation using some ingredients that Max has selected for you. Now, the ingredients he's chosen, they have a theme, and that theme is breakfast, but not Italian breakfast, American breakfast. Here you have eggs, which we use in all sorts of breakfast food, from omelets to just plain old scrambled eggs, bacon, because it's not breakfast without bacon, and potatoes, which we use for foods like hash browns and home fries. Do you fry potatoes early in the morning? Yes. I will never, never in my life get how it's possible as soon as you wake up to eat bacon, eggs, and potatoes. It's something that just to think about it makes me feel bad. I'm Italian. And to every Italian mind, when you have a sort of pancetta and eggs, the first idea that comes into your mind is carbonara. But then I have also the potatoes. So right now I'm separating the egg whites from the yolk because I want to use just the yolk. Right now, what I need to do is put this in the fridge because I want it to be a little bit more uh, firm. So, Eva, you're making gnocchi. Si, sí, Max, I'm making gnocchi. Do you know how? Are you sure? No, actually, no, Max. <laughs> I forget. Do you want to help me? Yeah, do you need me to show you how to make si, it? Hey, Max. Are you sure si. you used enough flour? I'm an expert. Those don't really look like a gnocchi. They don't look good to you? Mm, not really. So, do you think that I need more flour? Well, you know, I, I, the challenge is yours. I don't want to I don't want to influence you with my distinct knowledge. I'm going to let <laughs> I'm going to just let you try and maybe fail. We'll see what happens. Everything is possible, Max. Everything is possible. That's right. Everything is more possible. This time I'm going to do a very fancy new. So I've, I've, I'll be honest, I've never seen anything quite like this. It seems like Ava's making a stuffed gnocchi. Yeah, I've, certainly I've seen stuffed gnocchi in Italy, but um, I think it's a risky dish. The consistency, can they can fall apart when you boil them, which would be a disaster in this case. So we'll have to see if she's able to pull that off. She's putting it all on the line with this challenge. Yep. If it works, it will be very good. If it doesn't work, it will be a disaster. Is bacon like guanciale? Not really, but this is what we have, but this is what we use. Here, important is to win the challenge. <laughs> This time I'm going to salt the water not too much because uh, the egg with the pecorino, with the parmigiano is pretty salty. So, just to give taste to our potatoes. This is the moment of the truth. We need to discover if it will be a huge 
tragedy of it actually it will be a good experiment we will see i'm scared they can dissolve and if they dissolve i mean trouble i don't know what to think <laughs> i'm pretty scared also to touch them So this is a McDonald's breakfast. This is the this is the egg McNyoki, I believe. This is uh, egg yeah. McNyoki. I like. Yeah. Maybe uh, we should Im invent a dish like that. David, you you literally did. You made gnocchi out of McDonald's. Maybe you know what? We can offer this like in our new restaurant, like the American breakfast. Well, yeah. Wait and see if he likes it before you get ahead of yourself. It. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're also right. Okay, Max. Okay. taking too much time to chew. Mm. No, I like this. It's delicious. Are you sure? It certainly has the flavors of an American breakfast. You have the bacon, you have the eggs, you have potatoes, like you might have hash browns or something. Mm -hmm. So you've created something very special. Yes. Complimenti. Grazie, Max. In my opinion, you have passed, you have won. You can go to the Balconata <laughs> and, then I have and a you, win, you win the prize today, Second which is grade. every Italian's favorite American candy, <laughs> which is not available in Italy. I give you the Reese's Peanut Butter. Grazie, Cup. Master Chef. Prego. Can I eat it? Okay, I'll have a little more of this. You can have the Reese's. Oh, I feel pretty satisfied. First of all, because I ate my peanut butter cup. It's the best perfect. candy in the world. Second, because uh, I get also cook a burger. Come on. Uh, Dad, the f Dad, can you turn off the smoke alarm? No. Where's that one? In a different room, I don't know. Thanks again to Copilot for sponsoring today's video. Visit the link in the description to start your free trial today.